Thank you. Thank you. Now let us see some magic. Thank you Mr Jadu you were terrific I am not a magician like you but I will try now let me show you some of my magic Thank you But to be frank mine was not a magic let me explain you what happened here no magician explains their magic but i will <laughs> i have kept a small heater below the table when i put ice on this bowl it started to melt and then it became water and after some time the water continued to boil and it started to evaporate and it turned into water vapor simple isn't it but let's look into why ice became water and then water became vapor whatever objects you see in this theater all occupy space and have some weight correct for instance this table takes some space and have some weight so is this curtain all objects that take up space and have weight are made of matter whether it is table this curtain or the ice i showed earlier all of them look and feel different correct this is because the matter is made of very very tiny particles called as molecules and molecules of different substances are different for example the molecules inside this wooden table are different from the ice let us understand this further let us say this transparent box represent wood and the red balls inside this box are the molecules of wood as you can see all the molecules are of the same type like red in color same size and are arranged close to each other make sense and say this box represent ice the blue balls inside this box are the molecules of ice and look at their spacing too compared to the earlier box which was representing wood the spacing here looks little different correct so the two materials wood and ice are different because they have different molecules and the spacing between their molecules is different now that you understand that objects are made of matter which is made of molecules I will explain you about my earlier magic that is how a big p 
piece of ice got converted to water and then water to vapor. When I put the ice piece on this bowl, the heater below heated it. Because of this, the molecules within the ice started to move. And because of the composition of the ice, the distance between the molecule increases. The molecule started to come out into this bowl and it takes the shape of the bowl. This is water. So because of heating, a solid ice became liquid water. That is the matter inside the solid ice changed its form to become liquid water. In solid ice, the molecules were closely packed together and cannot move freely. Hence, any solid objects have a shape like a ball, uh, like a computer, etc. In liquid water, the molecules are little loosely packed and can move freely. Hence, any liquid objects take say water or tea or milk, they don't have a shape. They take the shape of the container in which they are kept, like a bowl in this case or you drink milk in the glass, so the milk takes the shape of glass. Now when we heat liquid, its molecules move further apart, that is the distance between the molecules further increases compared to the solid. This is water vapor and the water vapor just doesn't remain in the bowl it flies in all the directions so the liquid water in this case became gas or in other words matter inside the liquid water changed its form to become gas in case of gas the molecules can move freely hence gas doesn't have shape just like liquid but they are further apart remember the molecules are so spread out that an ordinary container cannot hold the gas. In nutshell, matter is found in three forms, solid, liquid and gas. In case of solid, the molecules are closely packed together with little spaces between them and hence the molecules cannot move freely and that gives a shape to the solid. In liquid, the molecules are not so closely packed and hence can move freely hence liquid can flow like water can flow and it doesn't have its own shape it takes the shape of the container in which it is kept and in gas the molecules have very very large spaces between them so they can move freely and hence it also doesn't have a shape when heated the molecules move apart hence matter changes its form from solid it becomes liquid and if it was liquid, it becomes gas. You must be wondering what happens when you cool an object, that is the reverse of heating. Simple. In case of heating, the molecules were going further apart. In case of cooling, the molecules are coming nearer. And because of coming nearer, what happens? Any guess? If it was gas originally and you cool it down, it becomes liquid. Because of molecules coming closer, and if it was liquid before, because of cooling, it becomes solid. That is, the molecules come very close to each other and it became solid. This I will show you in a different demonstration during the water cycle. Coming back to the story, the hole in the water, we definitely knew about the states of the matter. While it is impossible to make hole in the water as such, but we can definitely do this in the solid state of water, that is ice. Similarly, it doesn't require a magician to make the water disappear from the pot filled with water without doing anything. Due to the heat of the sun, especially in the summers, the water changes its state from liquid to gas, that is water vapor vanishes in the atmosphere without requiring any human intervention. So we did deserve to get married to a princess as he passed both the tests using his knowledge. Correct. Right kids? Isn't this a magic? Just changing the distance between molecule, 
the matter changes its form a solid becomes liquid or liquid becomes a gas or vice versa mr jadu i am able to understand and recreate some part of your magic like converting a solid ball to a liquid and then liquid to gas but only you can do the magic of creating a bird out of an empty hat hats off to you mr jadu